but it is four runs, it's best run that counts. So all eight of these riders are gonna get two more shots at it as we start off round number three. Right there, there it is, a double front no header. He left it perfect. Look at that. Perfect. Oh, oh no, he just jumps up, slips up, slips his, slips his pedal. Yeah, he, he's, he admittedly says the quarter pipe's not his strong point, uh, but to pull that j jump over the gap so clean. Cool. That'll bring up Sebastian Keith. Sebastian Keith heading for the quarter pipe to see what he's got. The nice little tangle top. Look at he did a nothing over the gap. Yeah, he got he got inverted pretty good there. That was stylish. Uh, Twelve foot nine inches high. Like I said, Sebastian, this is his first time really riding the Mega Ramp. You know, he told me he just wanted to come out, have a good time, ride with the guys, and just feel feel the flow and get comfortable. Well, it's just testament to how hard the BMX Big Air Ramp is to tackle as we get into Colton Satterfield here. From what was arguably could have been a gold medal run, in. we're back to a tiebreaker. Three-way tie going here for first, but again, when you apply those tiebreakers, the first tiebreaker, we drop the high and low scores between the five judges, so you bring back in all five scores, so by virtue of that, Vince still has the lead. And I know people at home are probably watching and thinking, well, you know, how come the score isn't higher? How come that flare isn't higher? <laughs> So 17-foot flare, 17-foot 6-inch flare. Goodness. I'm proud of you, Vince. You're getting up yeah. into my territory, buddy. This is picking up where we left off in Verd on Friday night. They got three guys all with a 90 right here. That's what happens when people are riding at such a high level and it's so closely contested. I mean, there's different tricks, different styles. You have to balance all that out in different judges' opinions. Here comes Steve McCann for round three. And he's going big. He's going big. Yes! Yeah. Taking a page out. Oh. 21 feet, 8 inches on that. You know, it, it, kudos to him for not just calling it a night. There's Morgan Wade. Three riders left to go here in the rotation for round three. <laughs> See Morgan Wade saying, eh, no problem. Look at the look on his face. He's out of here. He's just having a good time. We'll see. If he tricks the gap, he's going for a run. If he doesn't, well, he's going Huge to run. cannonball. And he can still go high. One, two, three. Uh oh. You oh. can tell. Back wheel again? It sounded like he did. So now here's an interesting thing. Again, we mentioned the three way tie with the 90. Chad Kagey has been bumped down to third now. Wow. After what we saw on a Colton Satterfield. So. What do you think? Something new out of Chad here tonight? I, I know Ch Chad has some dream tricks in his bag. Let's see if he can make it happen. Oh, uh, this looks good. Check this out right here. It's the flare whip around. That would not be the run that he was probably planning for a dreamer. Well, it's obviously not the run he was planning for a dreamer, but he seems at ease. All these guys seem to be just loving is bringing it all five judges score. Second time breaker is the second highest run score. Zach Warden back in the mix. Oh, oh, oh,